All right, this is the part I like. It's called playing fuck off phone. It's called playing let's put the pieces back together. There's so many bolts, there's only so many holes, so only certain bolts can fit in those holes. Normal people would probably be so anal and sort them out, but that's no fucking fun. I like to have the adventure of putting it together myself. So, we're going to put this guard back on. It's got one, two, three, four, five holes. There's five fucking bolts all the same size. And we're going to line them up and fucking pound that into place. Hey everybody, it's Jay from Bullshit Corner. And today's video, we are going to assemble the rest of the c engine as much as we can. Besides for the Magneto cover neck, because we're going to go through a separate video on priming that and I'm not gonna waste your time. Anyways, we're gonna put in another engine guard, the PTO mount on the back, we're gonna install the starter, and we're gonna go over some things that are important, that's why this video is just gonna be short, then we're gonna move on to the next one. So I'm gonna quit wasting your fucking time. Let's get over to the engine to get to work. Now depending on the type of CDU you got, mine's an XP, and the original one had this one because I got a coupling, and then the other one has a shaft like this but we need this one so I need to install this onto here so the first thing I got to do is put some copper coat or some anti-seize on that taper shaft then put the bolt in the washer and then torque that down to what the instruction says right there 17 foot-pounds of torque so we're gonna do that right now nothing like lubing it up before you stick it in some greasy stinky hole I got that torqued up, I didn't show it in the video because I had the Loctite already on the bolt and I wanted to get it in there quick and tighten it up. However, if you want to tighten this without the engine turning, I put the nut on the opposite side here and that way I had a wrench as you can see right there and I tightened it up and I took my rubber mallet and I just tapped the flange and then I torqued it down again. That way, because it is a tapered fitting so now I know for sure the flywheel will not spin on me and it's torqued down and now I can continue on by putting this bushing in place and then this backside's done. I'm gonna put some bearing grease in there. There's needle bearings in there. Just gonna put that starter piece in and then the flywheel and then the uh, magneto cover, whatever the fuck it's called. Drop the starter in and this sucker will be almost done. So here's the starter drive here. That just goes inside here. And you wanna make sure your spring's inside there. There's a little spring in there. And then this piece will go inside there and we gotta tighten her down so I get that bolted up now for this part here you want to put some anti-seize on here but you want to make sure that keys in place as well and go ahead and grease up the shaft fucking rights put the flywheel on now this is important this has to go on a certain way otherwise your engines never gonna fucking start that hole right there has to be after the long piece. There's only, there's a few short ones. There's a short knob right there, short knob right there, short knob right there. This is the long one. That hole has to be just like that. Just like I showed you in the video. And then we're gonna fucking tighten that up and this part's done. Next part is the starter. This is going to be a two hand job, so I have to fucking put this down. But you get the idea. If you can't put that starter in, I'm going to fucking slap you. So we got the starter bolted up, the PTO shaft coupling, everything's on the back. <clears throat> Flywheel and all that's all put together. Next video, we're going to put the stator cover on. We're going to test the stator. We're going to measure the reed valves. The reed valves are just sitting up top here. They'll need to be cleaned up before we put them back in. And they have to be measured, make sure they're inspect. Put them in, mount the carburetors on. Put Probably put the exhaust manifold. I have to check, make sure that I can put that on before we drop the engine in. And then we're ready to drop the engine in. How about that? And that ends that video on 
of the never ending project of rebuilding the CDU engine. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Drink some beers.